I got the next couple days off, so just going through my fishing poles, uh, checking my line, checking my leaders for any snags, checking to make sure my hooks are sharp, and I think I'm going to head out and fish this evening there at the wreck. It's kind of my favorite spot. Everybody kind of leaves me alone. I can set up multiple poles. Uh, it's just peaceful. Got a lot of catfish there, so it's kind of my go-to spot. So I figured I'd take a sec since I have to do up a couple leaders and kind of show how I do it. Uh, obviously there's other ways, um, but this is what works for me and this is how I do mine. So when I bank fish, I typically use my slime cat spin, spinning rods. I prefer spinning reels just from the bank because I have more control. I can cast a lot further out. I use... Um, this is cat wire braid, 60 pound. I'm using a um, pin, long cast, uh, 7000 series. It's the Convict 2. I just really enjoy these reels. You can cast really, really far on there. They hold a lot of line and they're just smooth. And the, you just can't beat the uh, pin drag system in my opinion. Oops. So my go-to setup, I usually only fish two rigs. Um, one CNT rig, right? So it's got the uh, slip bobber, eight-aught circle hook. Uh, you could use the bow tie um, rattles or not. I, I typically enjoy the rattles. I think that they, uh, they definitely have a better hookup ratio. And then ultimately, I don't tie my knots, I crimp my line. And I just set it up to a barrel swivel. That way if I do break a leader, I need to tie one on. I just tie it onto my main line, uh, right under a weight slider and a bead. I like the weight sliders because I can change out the weight depending on the uh, how the water, um, how the flow of the water is, how bad the weather is, and just make sure it holds my bait where I, where I want it. And then when I store my rods, I don't have to store them with the weight on. I just prefer them. So 60 pound cat wire braid, you can find on Tackle Warehouse. To 50 pound mono leader, usually 12 to 18 inches to eight dot circle hook, big cat, octopus, circle hook. And that's Carolina rig. Pretty much the only two rigs I use, Carolina rig and the Santee rig. I pre-tie them. I just hold them in these little, um, these little boxes. Pretty much where I put everything. Next time, really fast. This is my leader line. I pretty much only use the Trialing Big Game Mono 50 pound. Um, I like them on these spools. They're just easy to carry, easy to store, and it just makes it super fast. The hooks I prefer are the Big Cat Circle by Gamagatsu. I also use the Octopus from time to time. But typically 8 aught to 10 aught is pretty much what I go back and forth from. Alright again, so I started, I used to only snail knot when using a circle hook. And I've read all the conspiracy theories or theories about only using snail knots with circle hooks. I can tell you that I've been doing the crimps for quite a while now and uh, really haven't seen any change in the hookup ratio. So I was fishing a tournament as a clangler on a team uh, once and the night before a bunch of old timers were pre-rigging their leaders kind of like I am now. For like every one that I did, they had already finished like 10. And I was asking what they were doing, and they showed me how to crimp. 
and uh, I'm doing some research on it. Pretty much all the negative stuff that I found is it it's overkill. You don't need to do that. Well, you're in the trophy catfish game. If the only negative review that I can really find is overkill, then I'm okay with that. So crimps, I buy them like in a thousand packs. Usually they're by by letter. And on there you'll find uh, the diameter. So the letter will have the diameter diameter of line rating that it's for. So I just look on the spool, 50 pound. So the diameter of this is 0 0.028. So when I go look for my crimps, since I only use that, that leader mainly, then I just find the saltwater crimps that match up with this leader. So first you just pick up your crimp, put it on, take your circle hook, go through, back through the crimp, and then hopefully you can see this, you just melt the free running end just a little bit. So I like to make sure it cools down, that way it doesn't stretch my line at all. And touches and then from there you just pull making it tight doesn't have to be super tight just close di diameter I have pen crimps you can find them at Amazon I think they're like 20 bucks something like that and then hopefully without jabbing myself too many times just crimp it boom done from there, I kind of like my leaders 12 to 18 inches, so I just quickly measure it out because I've got OCD. Boom. Cut it off. So one thing you got to be aware of with, with cramps, really the size you cut it is the size it's going to be. Like where when you tie like a snail knot or palmetto knot, something like that, you want uh, more line because the knot's going to take up a lot of line just cut it off but really with the crimps the where you cut it, it's really the length that it's going to be you could use these bow tie uh, rattles i like them i don't always use them um, i've done a lot of research on them and really what i've read and what i believe is that they help with the hookup ratio so when the catfish goes and attacks the bait goes the grip on and he hears the rattle and kind of makes makes him more aggressive to latch on so really don't need beads but I add them really beads are really for knots that way like your your weight slider or something like that doesn't keep uh, interfering with the knot and then potentially the knot breaking but Grab me a barrel swivel, pre-marine in through the crimp, through the barrel swivel, and then back through the crimp. Again, light the free running in. Just to melt it, that way it can't slip back through when you go to get all the tension out. I cool off, pull it, close diameter. It doesn't have to be super tight. Crimp it, and it's done. I have that here. I usually make a few. I store them in these boxes, and that way, if I break a leader or get snagged, something like that, I can just uh, attach one of my weight sliders on there with the bead if it's not already on there. Tie this palmetto knot to my braid. See the
Got here to the wreck on Watery. We need to set up and then probably go catch some bait fish over there by the dock and try that. Maybe some small bluegill or something. Yes, it's definitely one of my favorite spots. Really easy to access, plenty of room so you can get away from everybody. Uh, which you know, I've met a lot of cool people out here, so, um, you know, all over fishing, um, but sometimes it's just nice to be away from everybody. Uh, I typically bring Duke, my golden retriever, uh, but I expect a storm to come through today. It's super hot, so I left him at home, which he'll be pretty upset with me um, later on when I return tonight. He loves to come out and fish with me. But this is a, usually a pretty good spot. Uh, I have caught my personal best here, uh, blue. Um, and, uh, you know, I like it. Typically what I do before I go fish a spot is I'll look on Navionics, the boating app on my phone. I'm looking for shallow flats to, you know, steep drop-offs. And where I go here on the point, uh, there's a channel marker about 50, 50 yards out. So it goes from like four to six feet to right before that channel marker drops down to 20 plus. So I like to get the bait pretty much right there on that ledge and uh, usually do pretty good. Cheese. I guess that's why they envy me. 
The storm is supposed to be in until 10, 10 to 11 tonight. Hopefully, the weather holds up. Had a few bites. Nothing yet, though. I'ma let you hear him just to prove you wrong. On track, now we going way up. Don't be used as easy as a layup. Fucking late, stay up. Stay up. Counting all the way up. Counting blessings, yeah, you know we pray up. Way up. Well, I got home kind of late yesterday. It was kind of a bit of a mess. I knew that there was supposed to be a storm coming in, but typically this time of year, uh, they come in super fast and they come out uh, almost faster. But that storm did not want to go away. Um, I had a couple of buddies down with me and the storm came in and uh, kind of split, but then just built up. And at one point, the rain just came down so hard that we uh, went back and sit in the truck and try to wait it out. However, it wasn't going away. So, I mean, being military, I'm kind of used to bad weather, and I'll, I'll put up with a lot of stuff to try to catch a fish. But uh, it was it was it was bad. So didn't catch anything. Got a few bites, and it seemed like as soon as the bite was on, a uh, storm hit. So hopefully, you'll be able to see it. In the uh, drone footage, I, I was able to fly the drone for a little bit last night, so hopefully you can see it. But I'm here cleaning up my truck. Nah, nah, nah. Up to the other side. Uh, I'm trying to clean up my. Um, pulls, wiping them down. They got super wet yesterday, and then I've got to reline a couple of them. But I'm going to tie up a couple of CNT rigs, so I figure I'll just show how I do it. And again, there's a lot of different ways of doing this, um, but this is what works for me, is how I do it. Alright, 50 pound mono, big game, trialing, using 8 aught. Big cat circle hooks. Always start at the hook. Thread on my crimp. Take my circle hook. Run the free running in back through my crimp. Light the free running in just to melt the tip a bit. That way it doesn't go back through the crimp when I go to tighten it. And again, let it cool off so that when it rubs against the line, it doesn't doesn't melt it or stretch it. Tighten it up. Doesn't have to be super tight. Crimp it. It's done. I like my leaders 12 to 18 inches. And again, you don't need extra. Whatever you cut it to, that's what it's going to be. I use bow tie rattles. Not always. So, bead, bow tie rattle, bead. 
Now you just need a slip bobber. You do not have to use these ones. I like these ones. These are from Whisker Seeker. Um, you can use just the plain ones that you can find at pretty much any tackle shop, right? Like these. Slip bobber. Bead. Alright. Now, put the bobber stopper on. I like these ones. I don't know if you can see them. Um, but they're reusable. You can take them on and off. And they look, they work really well for a big diameter line. Pretty much can find them anywhere. Alright, it is important that you put the bobber stopper on the opposite end of the slip bobber. Alright, this allows you to adjust the height of the bobber. Alright, from there you just grab a barrel swivel, print, bring it in through the opposite end of the barrel swivel, back through the print. Melt the free running in. Let it cool off. Pull it tight. Cramp. And that's it. And um, now all I do is when I'm ready, I take my main line, I throw on a uh, a weight slider clip on my main line tied to my leader. It's ready to go. I'm the landscape you need to see. You're the honest I never be. I'm so sorry I never stay. Overreact and just walk. Alright, and that's it. Those are pretty much my two favorite rigs. Um, for catfish, pretty much all I use. Um, I'll rig up a bunch. I keep them stored here so I can switch them out depending on what what's working. So, but hopefully the weather um, gets a little nicer, especially in the evenings, and the catfish get a little more active and start biting. But I think that's the end of this video. Please, uh, if you like it, subscribe. Leave a comment uh, if you have any questions, uh, ask in the comment. Um, thank you.